Dale from Max Token. Okay, so I'm sure you've seen it. If you've been in crypto at any length of time, you've heard uh, of two things, taking profit and D they call it DCA, dollar cost averaging. What does that mean? Okay, real easy. The first thing is uh, if you've uh, in taking profit, if you've entered a, a trade, okay, you've bought some coins, you've bought some tokens, whatever, you've, you've done some options, whatever it, whatever it is you've done, uh, when you've when you've increased the value, when the token has increased in value and you've made some profits, you want to take some profits. You don't necessarily want to sell at all. You know, if you've got a thousand bucks in something and it goes up to two thousand bucks, you don't necessarily need to take all two thousand bucks, but maybe take five or six out of your hundred bucks, okay, and off the table. And now you're working with the house's money at that point. Um, you want to, now what you want to do is put that into stable coin. Don't necessarily take it in cash and like put it back in the bank because that, it, 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 it takes time for that to get back into the system. So I've taken a stable coin, take it in, you know, USDC, BUSD, Tether, USDT, one of those, one of those stable coins, dollar, dollar peg stable coins. And then the next time you're gonna to wanna to do a trade, you can just do the swap with that, easy. Uh, so that's when the toy coin goes up. Now, let's say the coin goes down. Let's say you buy the coin and it goes down. Now, what they, they call it dollar cost averaging. If you got a thousand dollars worth of something at a dollar and it goes down to 75 cents, and you buy another thousand dollars worth of it at 75 cents, now you got two thousand dollars in this coin at you know a mix of what is it? That's like 80 cents or whatever it is. The, the, the first the first thousand at a dollar and the second thousand at 75 cents, meaning that your whole stack, that whole coin, is only you're only in it at, at 80, 75 cents, whatever, whatever that math is. And do it before I start dark. Um, but uh, so that dollar cost average down, especially in a choppy market like this, we've, we've seen a lot of this happen. Just real small increments up, down, up, down, up, down. Looks like choppy water. When you see it on a graph, it looks like choppy, like a, like a choppy lake. Um, in situations like that, you know, you, you want to just the dollar cost average as much as you have, whatever your stack is, if you're gonna do 500 bucks a month, if you're gonna do 100 bucks a month, if you're gonna do 50 bucks a month, whatever it is, you know, just do that and dollar cost average until, like I said, the next bull run. Um, then you can take some profits at that point. You, that that kind of discipline is, is good to focus on in times like this. So when the mania of the bull run happens, you'll, 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 have, your, uh, you'll have your process of what you wanna do. You want it to be kind of not emotional too. That's another thing that a lot of people don't, they, they don't talk about. It's a very emotional thing. Money is an emotional thing. I mean, it's, it's, it, 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 it breaks up marriages and, and ends friendships. And so let's not discount the fact that money is a very emotional topic. So you want to take the emotions out of it and just based on a percentage of when, when this hits this, I'm going to take profits. When this hits this percentage, I'm going to take profit. If this goes down to this, I'm going to dollar cost average for this. You know, you do that. You do kind of do that math, whatever you're comfortable with. And then, uh, uh, that's that, that's like a success for me. So until next time.